Only on 41, if you plan to fly out of KCI anytime soon, you may want to pack your patience. A lot of people telling us TSA workers have changed the way they're screening passengers. So we sent 41 Action News reporter Ariel Rothfield to the airport to find out what's going on. Going through security at an airport can be pretty frustrating, but for some passengers traveling through KCI, they're being asked to do even more, and they aren't too happy about it. They're telling everyone in line, you need to take all paper products out of your uh, out of your bag and also all food. Now in Houston, Don Buden flew through KCI Monday when he was asked to remove all paper products from his bag. They did say that, hey, we're, this is a pilot program that's currently being tested at Kansas City, and... Uh, and that they're rolling it out nationwide. Another passenger telling me on Twitter, there was one gentleman who had six full totes of papers, artwork from his kids, foods, books, and magazines. Even our executive producer of digital media at KSHB was asked to remove paper products from her carry-on bag. The agent just asked like, hey, we need to take out paper products or trying out a new procedure. So I was like, okay. Um, so I took out my planner and a magazine, and then I put it in the gray tray and with like my bag and then like my shoes and all that other stuff. But in Philadelphia, Letitia Dakin said she was never asked to remove her book. It was the standard take off your shoes, take off your hat, any jewelry, pull to the side. TSA won't confirm if this new procedure is being tested here at KCI, but said in a statement, quote, random and unpredictable screening measures may be used, and as a result, passengers may be asked to remove certain items from their carry-on luggage during the security screening process leaving passengers flying through KCI wondering why. That doesn't make much sense really. I mean, I know you can like hollow out books and stuff, but that doesn't seem like a public concern. Most people are just bringing books on to read on a plane pretty much. Now, what's interesting here about KCI is the men and women who wear the blue shirts in charge of security don't actually work for TSA. They work for a private agency that are subcontracted to do security here at KCI, but they have to follow all the rules and the same procedures TSA does at other airports. We are live at KCI, Ariel Rothfield, 41 Action News.